According to Jean Piaget, children go through four stages of cognitive development. Basically, as we grow older, our brains develop and we gain new abilities. Makes sense, right? So, the first stage lasts from birth to age two. It's called the sensory motor stage. Babies experience the world using their senses, and they explore using their body. The brain isn't developed enough for anything complicated, so they just focus on all the information coming to them through the five senses. And they learn to crawl and walk. They also reach their first cognitive achievement, object permanence. At first, if you hide a toy under a blanket, they won't look for it because they don't realize that it still exists. However, over time they learn that the toy still exists even when it's hidden under a blanket. This is why they love the peekaboo game. To them, it's like adults have some magic powers. Stage two lasts from ages two to seven. It's called the pre-operational stage. The brain continues to develop, giving children new abilities. They learn to use symbols. They see that words can represent objects, and this allows them to learn language. That's not all. They also develop a vivid imagination. They imagine their toys coming to life, and they enjoy pretend play. So they know things about the physical world, but they don't understand logic yet. For example, if you show them a short, wide glass full of orange juice and a tall, skinny glass with the same amount, they will think that the tall glass has more liquid. Another limitation is that they are egocentric. They are focused on their own feelings. They don't understand that other people have their own unique feelings. For example, you're watching TV. And a pre-operational child sits right in front of you. He's thinking, he can see, so you can too. Stage three is the concrete operation stage, which goes from ages seven to eleven. Now the child is beginning to use logic to understand the world. Remember the example with the short glass and the tall glass. Now they know that both glasses have the same amount of liquid. That's called conservation. So children now understand some basic logic, but their thinking is still very rigid. They struggle with abstract thought and have difficulty thinking hypothetically about things. Nevertheless, they have become less egocentric. They see that other people have their own feelings. This stage is more advanced than stage two because of the use of logic. But it's important to remember that they are only applying logic to physical things. Concrete operations has to do with facts about the physical world. Stage four is called the formal operation stage. It begins at age twelve and continues through adulthood. Now we have finally reached abstract thought. Abstract thought has to do with ideas. It's deeper than just knowing facts about the physical world. For example, morality requires abstract thought. Ideas like good and evil aren't physical things; they are ideas. Beyond this, this stage also brings the ability to think hypothetically. Being able to consider hypothetical situations is really important. It allows us to imagine things that might happen. It allows us to consider the consequences of our actions, and it allows us to make plans and adapt when we need to. Welcome to adulthood. And there you have it, Jean Piaget's four stages of cognitive development. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. You could also subscribe and visit the Daniel Man of Reason Facebook page. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.